Oman is famous for its wadis, an Arabic word meaning valleys, and Wadi Shab is one of the most beautiful. It's located in the area of Sur and can be visited as a day trip from the capital, Muscat. I hired a guide, Valentina, to take me to Wadi Shab and the nearby coastal town of Sur. We arrived at Wadi Shab early in the morning and got a boat which took us across the river to the start of the hike. About 40 minutes hike now. Yeah, 40 minutes, but uh, it's a good hike. Uh, now the wadi going slowly, slowly up. Okay. It's easy hike, no worries. Easy worry. hike, okay, hike. good. So this, they are growing a few types of banana. This banana you can cook, but it's just uh, young. It's a banana flower. And it's all year round, they're getting bananas all year round. Oh yeah. Yeah, all year round. One of the first things that I noticed about the wadi was how green it was. There are so many lush palm trees and banana trees. It's a very unique and beautiful landscape. It was amazing to see the turquoise pools of water along the way. These pools are formed when rainwater gets trapped underneath the mountains, forming underground rivers, and over millions of years, the limestone collapses, allowing water to rise above the ground. You can drink through the valley, it's no problem, it's a clean water. Fresh water. water. Fresh water. In Oman, wadis are culturally important as many communities formed near them and people took advantage of the water to plant crops and raise livestock. We came across the incredible afflage system that runs through the wadi. Aflage was an ancient irrigation system dug into the earth that got its water from underground sources like wadis and was then transported through these channels to different farms. Even today, many restored aflage are still functioning and show how deeply connected they are to the country's history and culture. After around an hour of hiking, we arrived at a canyon with pools of water and it's at this point that we got into our swimming gear and left our belongings by the side. The water looks really inviting. Oman is a very safe country, so it's fine to leave your stuff whilst you go swimming. Swimming through the pools was so much fun. The water was so refreshing, especially after hiking in the heat for an hour, and I just couldn't get over how unique and amazing the landscape was. I didn't expect it to be. <laughs> the good thing about swimming through the pools is that there are parts where it becomes shallow again and you can have a little rest before continuing to swim through. After around 20 minutes, we arrived at what looked like the end of the route. But this is where the best surprise awaited us. We squeezed through two big rocks. Literally, there was just about enough room for my head to fit wow, through. This is so narrow. Yeah. We then came out into this incredible cave with a waterfall. This is absolutely beautiful. It was such an amazing experience hiking Wadi Shab with its beautiful views and finishing it off in the secret cave was a perfect ending. Leaving Wadi Shab, we drove to the nearby southern coastal town of Sur, which is a laid back fishing town that was once home to a thriving shipbuilding industry and historically was one of the most important trading ports of Oman. So we've come to the Dao shipyard in Sur, and this is where they build the traditional wooden ships and they're called Dao boats. So I'm about to meet the owner here and have him tell me a little bit about the history of the boats. This factory uh, started uh, from 1730. 1730? 18th century. 18th wow. century. Yeah. This factory. Yeah. Tradition. Yeah. 
And did they use it back in the, in the days to transport, export yeah. goods to yeah. other countries? Yes, yes. What do they use them for, the boats? No, for tourists. For tourists. Yeah. How long does it take to make? This is the biggest one. Big one. It will be uh, take uh, two, two and a half years. The Dow boats are built completely by hand and are made of wood from Oman, Africa and Burma. How much is it to build one of the big, big boats? Uh, it's more than 300,000. 300,000? Real. Real. 100,000 dollars. Yeah, nearly a million dollars. Yeah. The craftsmanship that goes into making these boats is truly impressive, and it's incredible to see this age-old tradition being kept alive. I loved driving through the maze of streets in the town and seeing all the traditional old houses with their carved wooden doors and Arabic-style windows. Saw has such a peaceful vibe to it, and what I loved the most was how authentic it felt. It's a perfect place to soak up traditional Omani life and get a true flavour of the local way of living. Is it Arabic coffee? Coffee. Arabic. It smells like chocolate. and they, Valentina's telling me they're local fishermen. They're going out for night fishing. I feel like Oman has a strong sense of place and past, where traditions are still very much alive. And the country seems to understand the importance of culture for its society to survive and thrive in the future. <laughs> 